So I'm supposed to be working on that trailer, and I was bringing my floor jack out to work on it, and I noticed something. That probably should not be disconnected like that. So I started looking closer at why this jack's always twisted a little bit when I've used it. I've never really paid attention. I've never really tried to figure out why. But if you look right here, whoop. Come on, camera. Three and three eighths, basically. And then if we come down here, you're whoop, right there. About three and a small quarter. So this wheel mount is higher up from the bottom than that one. And so I think I'm going to cut this off real quick and weld it back on. And then I can weld that cross member on. And this jack should work a lot better. I've never really paid attention to that, but it's probably safer for it to be the same. So if you look, as I roll this, that wheel is not contacting. But if I was to lift this other wheel up, it would. So. We could do this probably in about half an hour, so I'm going to do it real quick. I think it'll be safer and the jack will function a lot better. Please subscribe so we can build a shop. So I took the caster off. I'm going to take the skinny wheel on the 6 inch grinder so I can reach around this bolt. And I'll cut this weld out all the way around. It's welded this side, across the top, this side, and then inside on both sides. So I should be able to cut in and get that off. Once we knock that off, we'll reposition and get it set up. Hit that like button. Let's see if we can knock this bad boy off. See that awesome penetration there? I bet we can do better. So there's no penetration on that weld right there. That one was okay, but I think I can beat it all. So I'm going to get the flapper wheel, clean all this up so I'm getting on bare metal because this is actually a, an important weld to hold. I ground off the paint everywhere. Um, I'm actually going to be welding this a lot stronger than Harbor Freight did, but I'm going to do a pass on the inside of this because that's actually more critical. As the forces bend up, a weld is more likely to break on the inside of a bend than on the outside of a bend. So if it's bending up, this would technically be the outside of that bend. So um, <clears throat> I am going to stick weld this 7018. I'm going to gap it just a little bit. Um, the way I'm going to set it up to get my position correct. Well, let me show you how I'm going to set it up to get my position correct. So... My method of getting this squared up is I'm actually got this wheel that was floating before clamped down to the table hard. Neither of these front wheels are free to spin. And then I measure back from this back on both sides and match them. And then make sure I'm level, square that bad boy up and weld it. And then I'm grounded here. You run into Lincoln. Power MIG 210 MP. Its fan is always on, kind of annoying. Turn my power on. And I'm set at 85 amps. So I need to be in 2 and 1 8 inches. And then I'm actually going to grab a magnet square to hold this in position. and an eight and then this back one if we measure down is two and this one is two look at that they're a match so i'm going to hit attack here attack there and then i can pull my magnets off 
and I better put a welding hood on. So there's one meaty tack. So with stick welding, you have uh, slag, which is the flux that remains on the weld. And so I need to chip that off so I can weld all the way around and get really good penetration. But I'm not super graded uphill stick, uh, 7018, it's way easier just to have it in position. So I'm actually going to flip this up on its side and then all three of these sides plus the inside will be in the flat position. So that'll make it easier for me to make sure I got quality welds. Now that I have my height set, I want this cast out of the way so I don't cook it. And if you're really good, you can stick your electrode. I may have forgot to mention this is really old Hobart 332nd 7018 so it's it's being that it's that thin it's really floppy so I stick it a lot because it's that floppy. Okay, I'll weld the inside. We should be good. So there's a little bit of slag stuck around that bolt hole. So I'm going to clean all this up, clean the welds off, and put the wheel back on. Three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. That's much bata. So weld that cross member real quick. Good order to hold. Thanks for watching.